<clears throat> too bad it's too early for like wine or champagne or something. Is it? <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, you idiots. Dumb, 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 we are dumb, we are dumb. And today, this is the Our Stupid Reactions 2019 Awards. Wah, wah, wah. Very informal. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, we wanted to do this and uh, we, we, we enjoy giving out meaningless awards. It's our uh, first end of year video ever. Yes, there'll never be another one like it. Nope. Uh, but the way this is gonna be, uh, we're gonna go over a few categories, 2019 yep. categories. So like uh, best film that, that came, came out this year. In 2019, uh, best actor, best actress, and then they, we also have our, our best short film as well. Right. Uh, those are not 2019 associated. No, those are, we had to cover. Yeah, because obviously yeah. we haven't seen all of them. But then we will go through our top 10 favorites. And all of these will essentially, uh, well, I think the 2019 will be for that, for the 2019, 2019 ones. the ones that we think, like if we were doing the Oscars, yeah. who are the Because see, when we talk about our about like favorite films, there are the films that we say, okay, this is the one that should win the Oscar, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's like our yeah. favorite film. Yes, and so we'll do that with the 2019 ones, and then for our top 10 videos at the end, those will be our personal our favorites. Our personal favorites. Not, not the best cinema Exactly. Kind of like one of my favorite films ever is Nacho Libre. <laughs> I would never put that on the top 100 or 200 or 500 greatest films of all time. Also, never. Also, this will be a little long video. I'll try to edit it so it goes a little faster. But um, the Stupid Babies we did uh, on Twitter, uh, there was polls done. and They were pole dancing. Yes. Uh, there were, one of the Stupid Babies made a little site so people can also vote for themselves. So the 2019 ones. And then I think they also have their favorites of the uh, their top of five all time. or whatever of the stuff that we've, we've watched. Seen. In case you were wondering, we've watched what sixty films this year. Something about that. Yeah. But uh, so there'll be. Well, after we say ours, we'll tell you what the stupid babies thought. Right. And then you can let us know yours down below. But first, yes. So uh, the first category is shorts. Shorts. Not to be confused with pants. We've seen five. We saw Juice two, Ahanilia. Uh, Kriti and then Curry, uh, all those. And so, uh, what is your pick? And you could just do a brief synopsis of why you liked it at the end. It really only came down to two one for me that were my two favorites, but ultimately it was Satoshi Rai two. Yeah, because it's the best short film I've ever seen. So there you have it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that mine came down to those as well. Yeah. but I actually picked Juice. Really, I you like Juice more than you like Two? I did. Oh. I did, I because it, it 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 surprised me a lot. It, even though, like like as I said, such a rate, I, I have no quarrels with you about picking that. Yeah, I, I could have easily. And I have no it. quarrels with you yeah. picking that juice. I mean, I have my personal preference, yeah. but um, I can't argue. Juice was great, but this one is just it it it. I think the acting was phenomenal in it. I think the message was phenomenal in it, and uh, I think it was just great. The stupid babies picked Juice hey. at 40% and then two was in second place at 30%. Interesting. So, yeah. Best female actor of 2019. There's three basically in this that it shows. At least that's all they put in this. Right. From and the these are from the films that we, we saw that were year. released in 2019. Not every, over there all. Correct. So, that we saw, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so yours was? Alia. Mine too. <laughs> That one's yeah. that one wasn't very hard, even though the it, the, the other ones, the stupid babies by fifty two percent also picked Ali Abat. Uh -huh. Makes sense. Her performance in Gully Boy was, was just outstanding, phenomenal. Yeah, uh, but uh, Priyanka was in second place at eighteen. First guy's pink. Right, that would end, that would probably be my second one, and then Topsy as well. Yeah, and, and she was phenomenal she was as fantastic. well earlier this year in Badla. Yeah, it was Badla, right? Yeah. Or my, yeah, it was. Yeah, this okay. year was Battle. Coco. I mean, we saw her in pink as yeah, well, but that was, that was this year. Okay. Correct. Best actor of 2019. What did you pick? This is a contentious one. I, I know. Feel. I think I know who you picked. And it was by the, uh, the the scores of the Stupid Babies as well. Was it contentious? Yes. Uh, I picked Shahid Kapoor. Shahid Kapoor, I figured you would. Uh, I think his performance in Kabir Singh was just so brilliant and so different from the other films that we've seen him do. Uh, and I thought he had to go to different places and also take a chance on a film that a lot of people think is controversial. Um, but I think his performance in it was the one that stood, stood outside itself. I'm guessing you picked 
Ren Vera Singh. I did. I understand. Yep. I'm not really going to de debate that. He did a phenomenal job. I love him as well. So it's really up to you what your personal preference was in this one. But the Stupid Baby is picked by 0.3%. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Wow, it was like that close. Ren Vera Singh won. Uh, he 286 Wow. Shahid was 28.3. Wow. So that shows you how close it was. It just makes it was a good year for it for, was. for actors. Uh, but the third... and I and, and again I I really enjoyed it. Like yeah. I have no problems yeah. with somebody saying they they they. they Choose Shahid, but for me, I definitively yeah. no question. But that's kind of how the awards are going as well with the uh, the, the ones in India as well. It's, it's, right, it's those, those two. two, which makes sense. They both had phenomenal performance and very different, very performances. different performances for them. So, yeah. Yes. Now, the best film of 2019 that came out in 2019. Well, and our poll did it as as three options, didn't it? Uh, like well, you could pick three, two, and one. Your third favorite, your second favorite, your yeah, first yeah, favorite. Yeah, yeah, you, you can go ahead. Okay. Uh, I didn't do that, but I can think about yeah, it. Yeah, I did quick. my th my third favorite was Badla. Gotcha. Second favorite was Uri. Favorite was Gully Boy. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't come up with a, a top three, and so I'm just trying to get that in my head real quick. Um, my top three would be... Oh God, that's difficult, because Article mm -hmm. 15 was phenomenal. That was the other one that was tough for me. It, the third slot for me... It was a toss-up between Badla and Article 15. And war, of course. Well, <laughs> need we say more? Okay, I think it would be Kabir Singh, Uri, and then Gully Boy. Oh, really? I think, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I, I think I would pick Shahid's performance, but I, I, I just didn't, I really enjoyed Gully Boy as, as a fan, as a whole. Yeah, and I, got, I can't get past my own... Yeah. You know, the, uh, the meaning of that. But it was also just, in and of itself, it was a really great But movie. this... Uh, the Stupid Babies also picked Gully Boy uh, at 30%, and the oh, next time I got second it. was 19% at U uh, Uri. Was and number then, two? Yeah, and then Article 15 was three. Yeah. Uh, that, does, that, then, does, that, that was my other... It yeah. was either Article 15 or, or, or Bad Love for me for yeah. the number three slot. Those are, those, are, those are great. On to the main calls. <laughs> Just a reminder, these are our personal favorites. Personal favorites. That's different than... What you would say, okay, you need to put this in a time capsule for the rest of the world to see, or the greatest films that have come out of India kind of thing. This is very subjective. Yeah, basically, we could watch the most. Right. It's essentially how I came down to it, because this was incredibly difficult. Because there could have been 30 films that we've seen, and we've seen almost 60. Yeah. There could have been 30 that could have been in my top. We were just saying, I had, it, I had it narrowed down to 20, and it was painful to chop off names. Yeah. Because there were so There's many, so I loved. many that I love. Yep, and, and and could I would make no argument with you if you put it in your top ten. And this is going to be very revealing as well that you're going to see. Which for those of you who've been around, you know the differences between Corbin and I. Yeah, you will see the stark contrast. I don't even I don't know what he's picked. Oh no, we haven't he talked doesn't about know it. what I've picked. But the stark contrast of the kinds of films that we want to watch on a regular basis. Yep. Because this is what this is. This is the movies that we would want to go back to over and over again. Uh, so, we are going to do this. Uh, he'll say his top uh, 10, 10, through six. 10 through 6. And then I would say my 10 through 6. And you could say just a short, brief synopsis of why right. you enjoyed yeah, it. why I enjoyed and it. And then we will go 5, 5, whoa, and then we will get to 1. Got it. And then I will reveal what the stupid babies picked as well. Awesome. So, some of these might surprise you. Some of them will not. But my number 10. War. Nice! Nice! <laughs> Doom 3! <laughs> um, Go ahead. My number 10 is Ram Lila. I, I, it could have been in mine because I enjoyed that film so much. Yep. I, I, we, I I just... And I, <laughs> it's got the visual beauty of Sanjay Lila Bansali shots. Yeah. And it's got the chemistry and fun of Ranveer and Deepika together. Yeah, we know some of you hate that film. That's I know. okay. Don't care. It's just... It's a, it's a fun watch. Fun. It, yeah. I just love watching the visual treasure... Of the lighting and the yeah. set design, yeah, no, and uh, the fun of, and chemistry of those two. No issues with you on that one. Right. I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed that film. <laughs> Number nine is definitely not even in your top ten. Let me see. Go ahead, Devdas. You are correct. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Go ahead. Uh, Number eight, Swades. Number seven. Do you, you want to say anything about? Yeah. It? Well, it, say a little brief thing about it. Just... Sw Swadesh was surprisingly impactful for me in the Indian experience that we've had. Yeah. Um, as well as I felt 
you know, I've, we've seen SRK give a lot of really good performances. Yeah. My name is Khan immediately comes to mind. Absolutely. But there was something about the emotional availability he had and the, um, just the gentleness of his, his portrayal and, and just that story of India and the connection. So, and, and the music, yeah. I just, and, and it being a, a more, a, a smaller Bollywood film, but yeah. the musical numbers were smaller. So that's, that's why I like that yeah. so much. Uh, number seven, Piku. That's a phenomenal film. I love that film. Come on. I mean, and it's for me up to date, it's my favorite work to watch Dipika carrying herself alongside two of the greatest actors who've ever lived and holding her own yeah. completely. Uh, the, 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 that's not in my top 10, but it could have been. And mm -hmm. it was, it was a, a finalist. The only reason it wasn't is because I, like we said, in, it was on purpose exhausting at times to watch that film. Uh -huh. I don't know if it would be the second time, maybe. I, I have to yeah, watch for it again. me, I could just it, turn it on and watch just, it over and over again. At least the first time viewing is so exhausting on purpose. Right. Uh, which is the brilliant and, part of that film. Is I, I, I don't think I could watch it as much as I could watch some of those. And it's such a different take we've seen from Big B. Yeah. Remember how we was like, wow, what a different different thing for Big B. Oh, yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoyed that film. And then my number six is uh, Barfi. Interesting. Justice for Rambeer. Justice. In case you didn't know, for those of you who saw that review at first when I didn't like Rambeer, I have since watched Barfi three times and on the second viewing was completely in agreement that I had made my own head spin on his performance and unjustly disliked his performance and have since now enjoyed him as much as I enjoyed, well, almost as much as I enjoyed Priyanka. Mm. Priyanka for me is at a whole other level than I've ever seen a lot of other actors mm. in that film, but I, I thoroughly enjoy and can go back to that movie over and over and over So you're again. saying I was right. You were right. <laughs> so I would do my 10 through six. Number 10, Kabir Singh. Uh, I, I, I love that film. I could- How uh, could you not put your best friend in the top 10? Yeah, exactly. Come on. Uh, I, it, and it's a role you'd want to play. Yeah, and that's how I, I often, my favorite, not always, but uh, my favorite films are stuff that I can see my, it, it makes sense, you know, you'd have to relate to I'm it. I'm the same way. You have to relate to it. You have to be able to see yourself in the film. Absolutely. Uh, not saying I'm, you know, uh, would abuse my wife ever, obviously. Right. Uh, and, no. And, and we know the controversy behind, behind that. Yeah. He was a terrible person, but I thoroughly enjoyed that film. As did I. And those films deserve to be made. Which, and I think they're, they're incredible. The performances are great. I just enjoyed When I made my top 20, it was in my yeah. top 20. And no. it was a hard one to cut. Nine. Gully Boy. Wow. Yep. Nine. Yep. That's, I knew it would be in the top ten. It was, uh, it's just every single time I kept coming back to it, it's just, I, I, I was like, I, I th it's such a good film. Every single part of it. The songs are great. The directing's great. The acting's great. And like, it could, like, could have been higher. There's a lot of films that could, it could have been higher. And there's films that were left out that uh, I could have made a debate that it could have been an over Gully Boy. Mm. It's just, it's, it's one of those things. It's just, I, the thing that I left it in, I was like, I could watch that whenever. Yeah. It's, it's one of those films that I could, I could, I would put it on before I'd watch Eight Mile again, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, and you, you, people have compared those two films, but I could, I could watch this film before I could watch. Um, uh, eight Agreed. Mile. I agree. So many more times. Uh, eight. English for English. <laughs> Just such an enjoyable film. Just good call. Like I watched it with my wife. I think it was actually one of the first ones that she'd watch with me. Yeah. And I, the entire time, as we said in the review, I was just smiling. Yeah. It's just felt it's, good the whole time. It's just, just so, I could put that on anytime for anybody. Like I could, like I could sit down with anybody in my family, any friend, and they would enjoy that film. I've recommended it to people who've said to me, hey, I have some American friends that I want to show some Indian films to. What, what do you recommend? That's like at the, toward the top of my list of, a, mm -hmm. of Indian films that an American audience would digest and enjoy. It's, yeah, it's yeah. just, it's, so enjoy and it's it's different also because like I said I can't honestly see myself in any role in that film <laughs> which is why it's it's strange mm. um, uh, but I I thoroughly enjoyed it yeah. uh, seven this one's not in your top ten super deluxe that film you don't think it's in my top ten huh I I don't <laughs> <laughs> you're right <laughs> I think that was a thoroughly brilliant uh, unique film totally agree uh, that is just I, I was laughing throughout it I was also surprised throughout it and those are the films that I, I, I really enjoy watching everybody in there was basically a sleaze bag 
I enjoy that uh, when you're, you're telling stories that uh, one I can't predict. Yeah, it's so funny because I I agree with all of those aspects of it in terms of it deserved the accolades, it deserved being in the conversation for an Oscar submission. Mm -hmm. I could care less if I ever see it again. No, I could, <laughs> I could watch that. Could care less. I could watch it anytime. <laughs> uh, six. This one could have been much higher as well. Uh, Padmavat. Mm. I, I and it probably that's because of the it probably has a lot a to do with Ranbir's performance. Yeah, and Sancho Libensali. Well, course. the film itself is a great, wonderful film. Oh, it's so good. And let's not—I mean—talk about an understated performance by Shahid Kapoor. Yes. So yeah. <laughs> we didn't even mention him. I'm so sorry, my best friend. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, um, the it's it's one of those that I uh, man, I could. I could watch that any time for multiple reasons. Primarily uh, for watching Run Beer. Run Beer. No, yeah. Sanjali Bansali, uh, his artistry yeah. that he puts on the screen, Dapika's performance, yeah. uh, the music the, the music behind it. It's some of my favorite songs yeah. that we've had yep. in, in that thing. It's, it's just, it's a thoroughly enjoyable, enjoyable film. Yep. All right, so we're going to go five, five, we're four, go five, four, five, 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 My number five, The Lunchbox. Go on. Come on. <laughs> First of all, the simplicity of the directing. Mm. Moments of just static shots. Irfan. Mm -hmm. And the story. Just everything about it. It's one of those movies I will happily go back to and just turn on and just... I'm currently doing that right now with The Two Popes because the acting of Hopkins and Price is so exquisite that yeah. I can just turn them on and just, I, I just do this watching them out. And that's how I feel watching those two in that, that film. So that's uh, my vibe. Uh, 10 through six of the stupid babies. I ah, should, I should have yeah, done, that. done that. My apologies. Uh, Tara, ah. like stars on earth lap is 10 for them. Bagmukabag is nine. The lunchbox is eight. Barfi is seven. And Dongle is six. Dongle, Dongle. Yes. So, yeah, that's theirs. Five. What is my five? Lagan. <laughs> Every, like, this is one of those films that I think I really enjoyed it when I watched it, but the more I think about it, the more I just love that film. Like, and how, how, how good it was. Yeah. Especially for, I mean, it's not incredibly old, like a, like a Such as It Rise, but, like, it's an old film, like 2000, I think, when it came out, right? Mm -hmm. But it's so good and so relatable and so like especially for what the over three hour film, you just you just enjoy it and yep. the songs in it are great, the yep. performances in it are great, and you relate to it. Yeah, it's just you just love being there. Uh, it's it's one of those performances. It's a great sports movie. Yep, one of my favorite sports movies just in general. I, I think. Agree. Uh, it's so yeah. That's that that was that was mine. All right. Their five is Bastrami Mastanani. Ah, Bastrami Mastanani. Go ahead. Cool. Number four. Number four. English, English. Yeah. yeah. We've already said it. <laughs> yeah. You knew that was going to be yeah. my top ten. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah. Do you want to say anything more about it? Uh, just, I loved everything about it. Yeah. I just, it's just, it's such an accessible, beautiful story. Sri Devi is so great in it. I love the little Big B moment. I love, I thought everybody was so beautifully cast. I think what probably elevates it a little bit more for me than for you is I know you weren't thrilled with like the teacher and some of the students. Yeah. Whereas for me, I just, I, I loved everything about it. So yeah. it's, it is for me one of those, I can just go back. I, I can watch that movie 20 yeah. times. And that's one of those films that would not be on my top 10, like best films. I to totally agree. If you were giving us a top 10, like put them in a time capsule, this is the best films technically. Academy Award level, yeah. great, you know, kinds of things. I wouldn't put English English in the number, no. in the top 10. Absolutely not. No. Uh, but in terms of favorites. But my favorites. Be, correct. I agree. Uh, four. Cholet. Hey. You know what? I knew Cholet was going to score really high for you. Yeah, it yeah. did. It's just, it's one of those things as well. Um, I, and I think my wife actually enjoyed it even more than I did. Uh, because she's a big fan of old westerns, mm. like that's what she grew up on. Her and her father watched, yeah, the Good, Bad, the Ugly, the any old school western. She, that, those that was her, her thing. Yeah, um, but it's just it, the more it sits with me, the more I'm just like that was such a good performance. There was little parts I didn't like, but you know, also it's old, so it's right. like, it's, you can't really ding it for that. It's right. just, uh, and I'll tell you what, I'll, 
I, I, you know, it's funny, what always comes back into my memory immediately is how great the stunt work was mm -hmm. for a film of that era. Yeah. Uh, and, and some great, great moments. And the, the thing that always goes back to me for this list is that these films that I could watch, like if it's on, I'm going to watch it. If right. I could pop it in at any moment, I'm going to want to watch, watch, watch it. Exactly. And so that's how cool. this list went for me. Therefore, is Gully Boy. Hey! Four. Four is good. Interesting. Yeah. All right. So go ahead. Your three. My number three. This might surprise you. Okay. But it won't. <laughs> PK. No, that doesn't surprise me. For you. For me. No, yeah. no, it doesn't surprise no. me at all. I, the, the earliness in which we saw that, mm -hmm. the affinity I feel toward Amir Khan and how many of his roles, again, I could see. Amir Khan and Irfan are the two actors that I can see myself doing the roles they do. Yeah. And... The connection point, the emotional connection point of uh, the, the honesty with which he's questioning faith and yeah. the honesty with which he's addressing pluralism and the, the intelligence with which it was being portrayed. Yeah. I, it's one of my not just favorite Indian films. PK is one of my favorite films ever. Yeah. I just I it, it hits me in the feels. I love watching him as that character. I love the love story in it. I just love that film. Yeah. My three is The Lunchbox. Hey. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. That was just such a brilliant film. Brilliant movie. And also just such an enjoyable film. Yeah. It's easily digestible for, like, it's, it's like Any English, English, but different in terms of uh, critically wise, I think anybody would yeah. like this. I would well. say that's the difference between English of English and The Lunchbox is that The Lunchbox makes sense on the film festival circuit and in awards conversations. Uh -huh. Uh, whereas English of English, it doesn't make it any less of a film. I love them equally. Mm -hmm. But English of English is not an awards film festival circuit kind of a, a film. No. Uh, Lunchbox is at that level. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, it's just, it was so, so great. So great. And so different. On, well, Irfan's performance was obviously just... And the president was so different. That's, that's when he's like, I can't believe that's Nawazan and Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's just so and the direction brilliant. was so good. Uh, it's just, it's so good. Their three is under Hey! Yep. Just because of our review. Come on, admit it. And I do, I do wonder if people didn't understand this list. If it's because it's their, this is supposed to be theirs, it's not right. them predicting. Us. No, their their yeah favorite. Your favorites, not what you think we would think. Are not our your favorite. Our review either. Right. It's supposed to be under hundred reviews. That, that, that might legends. be why it's so high. Honestly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the uh, they I love know, that but fight. I know, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. That was actually in contention for my top 10 as well because it's such a unique film and it was, it was so, so well done. But yeah, the, uh, the, theirs is Anda Handa Handa. I, I, could, I enjoyed it but could never have included it in the top 20. We know, like, Rick. Shut up. Playing. So number... <laughs> number two. <laughs> number two. Yeah, poop. Nice. Thanks. This will give away because those of you who've seen and paid attention, there's only two films left I haven't mentioned that would be here. So by me mentioning this one, you know what my number one's probably going to be. Mm -hmm. My number two is Header. Mm -hmm. That's surprising. That is it too. Go ahead. Talk about it. What's there to say? A lot. Uh, <laughs> Header is just as... It's one of my, it's one of my favorite films of all time. Mm. Um, like I go down the list of my... The films that I think are the most important and best things ever created are, you know, I start off at the top with Schindler's List and mm -hmm. Braveheart and Gladiator. And this goes right up there in turn. This is like my favorite interpretation of Shakespeare's Hamlet was Gibson's version because it was such an accessible version. It takes the four and a half hour play and makes it really accessible to people. And I watch Mel Gibson do something where he's never going to be Daniel Day-Lewis ever. But I watched the guy. I remember when he did the film, and I thought, really? Mel Gibson's going to do Hamlet? And it was a ballsy thing to do. And I thought he did an excellent job. Header makes but that look like shit. It, <laughs> it is... It is... I, it is the most incredible... Like I said, there was a point where I was like, this is perfection, don't mess with it. And they didn't, all the way to the end. It's as good of an adaptation of... It's the best adaptation of a Shakespearean piece I've ever seen in my life, and I can't imagine anything being better. Mm -hmm. So, it's it's an, it's an extraordinarily brilliant, perfect movie. Yeah. My number two, you said number two like it's poop. Yeah. Is 
Gangs of Wasper. It's your number two. That's I was. I would have bet money that Gangs of Wasper was going to be your number one. Actually, it could have been for most watchable. It could have been. And actually, before we watch part two, it wouldn't have been on my top ten. And I totally agree Which, with you. It. I mean, it wasn't meant to be two parts, so that makes sense. Exactly. <laughs> and here's the thing. Another thing of the juxtaposition. There's the word for you. I think Gangs of Wasper. I said this in the review is one of the greatest gangster films ever made. Yeah. I would love to watch it again, but it's not something I want to go back to all the time. That's why it's not in my top 10. Yeah, especially with the second part. That's oh, it's, that, that solidified it for me as just, it's just, it, I, I was not, I could not stop smiling throughout the second part of it. Yeah. Uh, and I think it, if I go back and watch the, uh, the first one, um, that, I will appreciate it a lot more. Me also, too. Like I said, I think we watched it too soon. I agree. Um, but uh, yeah, that's I, I couldn't say anything. Couldn't say more nice things about uh, yeah. uh, Gangs of Watson. The Stupid Babies number two is Heather, which is why I think, uh, which you know I agree with, uh, <laughs> but uh, why I think some people misunderstood. Because I don't think people before, like, I knew people thought it was a really good film, but I don't think people put it at the level we put it at. You may be right. They may have been guessing what we thought would be our favorite. Yeah, because I, that, I don't think that was, a lot of people when we said it, they said, I didn't realize how brilliant it was until y'all explained it to I me. I remember that too. And so that's why I'm like, maybe they realize it now, maybe that's what they're saying. But I, I honestly, I, I didn't expect Heather to be in their top 10, like it was for us. I could, be totally, I could be totally, could be totally wrong, wrong. but uh, from what I remember, I was like, it wasn't like an acclaimed, I mean, people loved it and thought it was great, but I don't think they put it like in their top right. 10. Right. Uh, but I could be totally, totally wrong. I think some people misunderstood what this was supposed to be. Though. Maybe it's good. But anyways, you're number one, so, sir. Which, drum roll, I think it comes as no, <laughs> this is not a surprise. <laughs> Three idiots. No, oh, my number one is Gully Boy. Yeah. Uh, the personal aspect behind that, I mean, I've got a freaking arm tattoo of Up in the Time I got. The personal connection, what it means, and not to take away from the fact that I do, uh, it. that movie, the trailer singularly not only brought about the birth of the channel, right? Yeah. But for me and for you, it completely opened up a door into a, a whole new world that we'd never thought to look at before. Mm -hmm. It was because of the trailer that we genuinely went, dang, I didn't, I had no clue India was making stuff that looks this good. Mm -hmm. And then when we saw the film, we were like, dang, who are these people? Mm -hmm. Who are, who is that girl? Who is this cast? Mm -hmm. We didn't care too much about that runger, whatever his name is. <laughs> and, yeah, he was, he was, he was, he was, he was pretty good. He was fine. Uh, <laughs> and the, the, uh, this, the quality of the film itself, and then when we learned about the behind the scenes and the way Zoya went about going about making it, female director and her vision and making every not not using the color blue, uh, everything about it, and I can't escape the fact that it is. I will always go back to it, not just because I enjoy the film and I agree with you. I, I like it way more than Eight Mile. Uh, I I I would go back to it over and over again just because it's such a good movie. Mm -hmm. But going back to it has such a reminiscent, emotional, deep thing because it embodies everything about why the channel even came to pass, which goes even deeper for me is because because of Gully Boy, I, Indrani saw me and I met Indrani. So it's nothing's ever going to surpass in any Indian film, Gully Boy. For you me. know what I'm surprised at though? That three idiots is not on your list at all. I had to choose between PK and three idiots. They could have both been in there. And then I would have had to get rid of something else. Hmm. I'm just surprised. I thought uh, Three Idiots was for sure. Gonna three be Idiots, content. I will tell you, Three Idiots was the most difficult one for me to cut out. And it still is a movie I will go back to over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah. But when I looked at all of the other films, like for example, I was like, okay, well, is it going to be Three Idiots or Barfy? Well, uh, I'm drawn to Three Idiots so much, but there's no performance in Three Idiots. Three Idiots, like, Priyanka's and there's there's something so beautiful the directing some of the shots that the director does in that yeah I can't not go back to Barfi yeah 
if, if there was any one film that didn't make my top 10, that's the most painful for me. So that'd be your, it's big, three idiots. your biggest honorable mention? My biggest honorable mention would be Three Idiots, without question. If I had to add one more and say honorable mention goes to, I'm it's, also it's Three Idiots. extremely surprised Kahani was in the list. That was number... That was, <laughs> that was next. Honestly, that was next. But I, and I, for the exact same reasons, I, I had, I had something had to give. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, I went back and forth between Three Idiots and Kahani um, because Kahani has so. I mean, it takes place on the streets of Calcutta, so there's so much stuff there. And Durga Puja, it, um, those, though, I, and I, I might in revisiting it because of the time we took. Yeah. If I was making the list tonight, I might change a few things, and I might put. I had a hard time not including Kahani and Three Idiots. Yeah. I thought I for sure hard. those were going to be in your list. Yeah, I those because if I if I get rid of either Dev Das or, or those are some of the older films. Um, yeah, I was just surprised. Uh, but yeah, like I might even see again. Like I go back to Piku for the acting stuff and just watching those three doing their acting. But if you were to choose between Piku and Kahani, I would, I don't know, I'd have a hard time. I would probably choose Kahani at that point. Mm. But I would want to watch the acting more often out of Piku. So I would watch scenes from Piku more often, mm. but I would watch Kahani the film more often. Yeah. So hard. Both those were very tough. Both those could have been in my top 10 as well. The, no. uh, the, uh, the Kahani and the... Were you surprised that Gangs of Wasserfer wasn't in my top 10? No. Yeah. I, wasn't. I, didn't I was more surprised be. that Three Idiots and Kahani wasn't in the list. Yeah. But my number one is a, a, a header. <laughs> and it was, and this is probably very anticlimactic, and I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. Uh, it was a shock. Uh, uh, there's no film. I, gangs came close to, to touching it in mm -hmm. terms of just my personal favorites of um, just something that was just so good to me. But um, I think that, that the only difference is it'd be much easier to sit down and watch Header than to watch Gangs because of the 100%. Yeah. I might even just start, honestly, with Gangs at two every single time because yeah. of how much I enjoyed that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the, uh, the they were both brilliant to me. Uh, but the, the header is just, I, I did an entire scene from it. And so I spent months, months just watching the film uh, and, and I loved everything about the directing. I loved everything about the performances, the story. Just it introduced us to so many people. Yeah. Uh, well, the people that apparently we knew from stuff in Hollywood. Right. Like Taboo and and, and Irfan. Uh, Irfan and KK Menon. KK Menon. And, yeah. And so many, so many different performances. Is just that that film was absolutely just brilliant to me. And but again, this was this was I actually in my top ten. There's no Padma or Baji Ramastani. Yeah, it's strange to me. Uh, both those. The, the Baji, I love those films. Both of those. Baji Ramasani is probably my biggest uh, honorable mention that would have yeah, been I, in there. I love those films, and here's why I didn't select them. Baji Ramasani I didn't because I get so hurt and so sad at the way that thing ends. I don't like it. I don't want to revisit it over and over again. I loved it. I know you did. So I don't, I don't like the way that, that that ends all the time. And so if I had to choose with a film that I want to go back to and I enjoy being in the most and get Sanjay Leela Bansali's genius and not feel... Um, Overwhelmed or sad or too emotional or too heavy. That's why I choose Ram Lila, even though I think Padmavat's a better film than Ram Lila. Padmavat and Bajra Masani are better films than Ram Lila, hands down. Yeah. But I enjoy sitting in this, the world of Ram Lila more. I, I enjoyed all those films. Yeah, yeah. I know. And Lagan is isn't it? Lagan. Yeah. I love Lagan, but I don't want to, I don't want to, that one is not one I would. Length for that one, the four hours on that one. That's not one uh, I yeah, yeah. would easily just throw in and I watch. I could pop it on and just sit there all day and do stuff and then yeah. come to my favorite But it's, that's crazy because I've got so many songs on my playlist. Yeah. So this is not easy. But the Stupid Baby's number one, and it's not really surprising to me, is Three Idiots. Mm. That's not surprising because that is actually the, the vibe I got from the beginning of the channel. Yeah. It's how much people wanted us to watch Three Idiots. Yeah. It's because how much people love that film. Yeah, and that, that if I had to, the, the, the difference between Three Idiots, which is hard because it introduced us to Amir Khan, I probably wouldn't have appreciated PK as much if I, didn't, if I hadn't watched Three Idiots. Mm -hmm. um, there was just something about the subject mm -hmm. matter. Not that there's anything wrong with the subject matter in Three Idiots. I love Three Idiots. I love the songs in Three Idiots. 
if I had to, if someone told me for the rest of your life, you could only watch PK or Three Idiots, I would go in a corner and cry because I, I wouldn't want to have to choose between those two. Yeah. You know, so. So well, that's it. Yeah, you, go. you can uh, scold us in the comments below. Yeah, tell, tell us, us how, how wrong we are, how stupid we are, and yeah. uh, but please let us know your top tens down below. And what else we left out? Uh, we left out a lot. We left out like we a said, lot. This was incredibly difficult. Yeah. I could I could list off films right now that weren't in that I could have dungle uh yeah uh, the uda punjab riding yeah. to basanti uh piku yeah. highway Ra black yeah uh kahani ram Leela, the uh bagmuk abag uh <laughs> i'm with you on every just, single one of those so many films that could have been on this list razi yeah ali and razi just uh, they, so many that we had to leave newton out. was so freaking good yeah i had to leave that one out uh so there's so many and we know that which is why it's so great that We've barely had any that were just terrible, <laughs> which is great. And thank you, because you're usually ones that recommend it. Yes. Uh, so thank you so much. Uh, and please let us know your top tens down below. And one final shout out for Doom 3. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully we can do these every year and update the lists. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. That would be interesting. That is, that's going to suck. So we have to do your all-time top ten. Year, next year when we watch another ten, like a hundred, we have to now do a new... Our top tens. It'd be interesting. <sighs> or I don't know if you do that or if you just do the ones you watched that year. But you also have to include the ones you've seen. I don't know. Now I'm, I gotta go look at my list again. 